Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And today we are going to be taking a look at the 40 locations for the butterflies. Now I will have face cam. I'll show you the surroundings and I will say and tell you the coordinates to make it as easy as possible for you guys to find the 40 locations. Trust me, I'm gonna make it as easy as possible. And yeah, let's just get right into the video then. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, I really, really do appreciate it, besties. Let's just go. Why was that the theme song? Okay, anyways, let's go. So the first one is right on your right once you enter Yarlaheim. It should be somewhere around here. And as you guys can see, here it is. And you could just click it and there we go. The coordinates are X17 and Y242 and that is the first Catherine's memory. The next one, I will be taking this path to get to it. So you guys can just follow- What the heck? You guys can just follow me along this path and it should be on the left approaching. After this little barn with the cows, it'll be right here or right next to the sales area. And here is your next butterfly. And the coordinates are X19, Y250. The next one should be right on the right of the entrance to Jorvik Stables. And here it is, right just floating around this little patch of land and the coordinates for this bad boy is x19 y240 for this next one we are going towards the dressage arena at yarlaheim and if you exit this door right on the left there should be this little plot of land and you just want to go forwards from here like this and keep going forwards and this next memory should be right on this plot of land all the way over here and boom and the coordinates of course are x6 y238 this next one if we see the championship it should be somewhere right down from it uh yes right down from the championship right over here as you guys can see the championship is there and Jorvik arena stables place is there and this is the next butterfly location as x24 y225 and boom there we go and that is one of the memories yes the next one, if we are from where the last memory was found, we just want to go straight. And near this little silo place, we just want to go around this huge rock formation. And right here in between is the next Catherine's memory at X32 Y227. And yeah, that is the next one. The next one, straight from the last one, the rock formation was right over there. If you just want to go to the edge, and you guys can already see it hiding out near this rock. And it does go in the rock, so you want to make sure you can just see its little tail there. And X29 Y239 and boom, there is the next Catherine's memory for you guys to find. The next one is a little bit more tricky to find if you don't know this hidden location, but as you guys can see, I'm just taking the trailer, not the trailer, the path down to Paddock Island and going to this little GED work site and we just wanna hug the wall, go very, very close to the wall and then there should be this little like dumping place if you just continue here, me trying to fill the space so I could talk and jump over to the other side and here is the next butterfly location at this little hidden place at x4 y2 480 and let's just grab that and there we go now if you're going out of the jet zone the ged bad bad guy zone you should just go and follow this path that leads to um uh, paddock island and right on the left here there should be this little silo kind of windmill thing and here is the next catherine's memory at x26 y259 and here's how the surroundings look like just in case you guys are struggling on finding it oh, oh i'm stuck this next one i'm just going to turn left at this crossroads and go up here and once you're up here it should be on one of these houses and these are the doors to Yarlaheim city in case you guys are wondering and the cafe and ferry is right down there and if we come all the way over here there should be another butterfly waiting for us and here it is right behind the house at coordinates x 47 y 254 and as you guys can see the cafe is right below me and this is how the houses look like and it's just up 
Bill's first memory is right at the fridge door located in Veildale. And if you go straight from the race, it should just be easy in your sight. And here is the first Catherine's memory that you guys can get. And it's right on top of the fridge door at X259, Y122. The next memory can be found right behind the abandoned kind of burnt down house. And the coordinates for this one is X240 and Y149. The next memory slash memory fragment butterfly thing I'll be showing you guys is at the soul circle. So we just want to go up through Elizabeth's house right here onto this little path and just go to this soul rider circle area. And here is the next memory. The coordinates are overlooking Veildale Village at X270 and Y99. As you guys can see, Veildale Village is right below me, so hopefully that helps. Okay, this one took me a while to find, but you just want to go straight. Just keep on going straight, hugging the beach. Hug the beach, besties. And there should be this little, like, druid stone patch thing, and then you want to go right back from where you were from that. I'll show you a little bit easier way to get it, but here it is. And just click it, and the coordinates are x253, y157. But if you are need visuals, just look for this little sand dent in the map, and it should just be a little bit down from that, and that is where you should be on the map. And hopefully that helps you guys find it. Just find that little druid circle mini magic rock dude there, and then go a little bit left, and you'll have it. So yeah. This next one is kind of in Forgotten Fields, but you want to go all the way near these rocks on the edge here. And then if you turn right, once you're near those rocks, it should be easy to find. So just follow what I do. We're going to keep going straight. Keep going straight. Keep going straight, besties. You got this. Okay, can my horse be any slower? I swear, I'm trying to show them where it is. And right when you keep going straight from here, you just want to turn right. There should be this random, like, wall of rocks stopping you. And you found it. Woo. Well, I didn't. Clearly, I can't click it. Click bestie. Okay, there we go. We got it. And the coordinates are X210 and Y134. And this is how my map looks like, in case you guys are wondering. And my mini map kind of has that there. So hopefully this helps. And yeah. It's right near the edge of the bushes and the mountain on the map, so hopefully that helps you guys. This next one, you are going to want to take the path up to Veildale Lake from Veildale, and you just want to keep going straight, besties. Keep going straight and just follow the path. Keep following the path and I'll be back once I tell you where to get off the path at. Alright, so here there should be this little section that's kind of off the path, but it's like two twists up. As you guys can see, and there is Veildale Village below. And you just want to keep going straight, and just like so. And keep going, keep following. And here it is at this mini hidden picnic location, which I haven't gotten that star yet. But here is the next one at coordinates X301 and Y109. And let me just grab the star as well. And there you go. There is the next uh, location for you guys. This next one, you want to pass through the championship or like be by the championship, you know, just like the championship's a helpful marker to know where to go. And just off a little bit from the championship, there should be this big tree just on the right here. And here we go. Here's the next location for Catherine's memory. And this one stands at X296 and Y99. Now here's the bridge and you just want to go a little bit off the bridge. There should be the sandy area and you guys can already see it. Here is the next location for Catherine's memories. It is a little bit slippery so stay careful besties. And here's the next one at location X284 Y112. And as you can see the bridge is right there and here's how it kind of looks to help you guys get a better view of where it is. All right, so I had to place a marker at 285118 for this one. So we are just going to go to it. It should be a little bit off the track if I do see so myself. And let's find it real quick. Where the heck is I have my marker? Oh, there's my marker. Okay, my marker messed me up. Okay, here it is. Beautiful. Okay, here, I'll show you guys where it is compared to the road so you can see where it is. But here is the path to Veildale Lake right there. And the coordinates are 284 
118 for anyone wondering there is the next butterfly location and i had to have a marker for that one but yeah there's the next one this next butterfly location we are just going to want to take the path all the way up to Dino Valley, except not going all the way up. Yup, you guys guessed it. So right at this diverging crossroads, there should be this little area where you can go down. Get- Move your booty, horsey! What? Bro, there's an invisible barrier, I swear. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Go on the pointy rock. And here is the next memory, besties. Okay, let's grab it. Okay, there we go. You might want to wait until it gets a little bit closer, but we are at coordinates X281 and Y97, right above Farrah's workshop, for anyone wondering where it is. Okay, these next memory locations are going to be found at South Hoof, and let's begin the memory finding, or chasing, I should say. Okay, I'm gonna be taking this path up to this red, kind of, uh, windmill dude, and here we are at the red windmill dude, and from here, once you're at the red windmill dude, you wanna just look down, and it should be right here in the uh, little, little animal hospital place, so let me just collect that, and boom, first Catherine memory, location X273, Y366, in between these little little door stops. Next one should be beneath this little, I mean huge overlying thingamajig, and this is the next one. Location is X273, I mean 275 and Y353, and as you can see here is the cow, so you just want to go right back into there from the trailer if you go straight and see the cows, and it is this first area right there, so hopefully that helps. The next one is going to be all the way back by the li lighthouse, so let's go back there and find our next little, little thingamajango. Okay, so this next one is going to be right next to the lighthouse and right behind it. There should be a Catherine's memory waiting up for us there. So let's go ahead and collect this Catherine's memory real quick. And if we just go around the lighthouse like so, it should just be right overlooking. And there we go. Of course, if you need coordinates, they are X291 and Y394. Okay, so this next one going out of the trailer should be right behind here. So of course, if you take the ferry, it is just going to be on this path following up to actual south hoof and right on your left or if you have taken your the ferry your right there is the next Catherine's memory x 256 y 350 and there you go okay so there's the ferry and we are going to continue on the right all the way down into your desert place the desert place i should say and we know we all love going this super long way here yes we do okay so just continue along this path yes let's do that and you should be looking along the walls, but of course I'll give you the coordinates as well, but I'm just going to be looking on the walls just so that I don't miss it. That's a little tip. It will be on your right if you took the same path as I did. So yeah, let's find it. All right, so here we are, this little sandy section on the map. Uh, yes, right down here, this little sandy section. It should be right in this crevice at X285, Y375, 375, 375. And yeah, as you can see, I'm writing this little divot on the map in case you're wondering where to go. And that's how you find it on the map. All right, so this next one from the trailer, you are just going to want to follow what I do. I'll probably put music here, but yes, just follow what I do on the screen and you will find the next one. And of course, I'll tell you coordinates as well. So stay tuned for that. But you just want to go forward like this. And yeah, in this little rock divot place, as you guys can see back there is Stone Circle. Here is the next Catherine's memory you guys want to collect. And this is how it looks around you. And of course, the coordinates are X242 and Y379. This next one, of course, I'll show you how I go there. But this one is a stone mini circle right off of the actual stone circle. So just follow what I do or skip a little bit ahead and get those coordinates. So right off of stone circle, there should be these. And this is how you know you're going in the right, correct direction. And right, okay, right here at these little stone areas, right off of Stone Circle, you can just go a little bit out of it. And here is Catherine's next memory at X204 and Y376. This next one is actually like around, like right around Stone Circle. So you just want to go around it and it should be easy enough to find. I'm going to go on the left for this, but yes, we are going to go and find this next memory. All right, so I already see it. As you guys can see, I went on the left. But here is the next one at coordinates X179 and Y377, right off of Stone Circle. 
or a tree of life area. There should be this area kind of overlooking Epona. In my opinion, I would say overlooking, and you guys can see that right over here, right down below is the next one on the sandy beaches. And this is just overlooking kind of swamp marshes and stuff like that. And you just want to kind of make your way down here nicely. And boom, next Catherine's memory. And this is at X 180 and Y 346. For this last one, located in South Hoof, we want to find the bridge that connects South Hoof to Epona. And once you find that, it should be pretty easy to find. So let's go and find this bridge. Alright, so once you see the bridge, there should be this area that kind of looks like a rock formation right off of here. And we just want to go on that to find the next Catherine's memory, just a little bit off of the bridge connecting Epona to the area. And here we go. Let me just grab it real quick. And boom, this is the last one in South Hoof. The coordinates are X158 and Y373. There we go. Next one has been completed. Okay, so this first one in Moreland should be right over here. You just want to go past the riding paddock and right here it should be located on this little porch thingamajig. And here is the first one of Catherine's memories in Moreland and the coordinates for this bad- What? This bad boy? This bad boy is not listening. Okay, there we go. This bad boy is located at X171 and Y250. Right here following this porch bench area. I, Why did I say porch? But this area. This next Catherine's memory is a little bit right off of the blacksmith. Kind of near the mountain. So you just want to hug the mountain once more. And there is the blacksmith in the distance. And as you can see, this is the second Catherine's memory in Moreland. Located right underneath the special private secret picnic area at X187 and Y231. The next memory is going to be found near Jasper's house slash the midsummer area. So I will see you guys once I get there and yeah. Here we are, and this next one, of course, is just going to be a little bit off of Jasper's house. Actually, a lot more off from Jasper's house, and the coordinates are X209, Y236, and there we go. There is the next Catherine's memory for you guys. Of course, you know Star Stable loves their lighthouses, so we just want to go a little bit off of Jasper's house. We're facing it, and ooh, dragon horses, but around the Moreland lighthouse, there should be the next... Butterfly kind of overlooking Fort Pinta and across from Jasper's house. The coordinates are X219 and Y2. For this next one, I just called for pickup to make it a little bit easier, but if we go right and near this tree across from Mrs. Holdsworth's house, there is another butterfly location slash memory thingamajig for us to collect at X187 and Y25. For this next one, we just want to, you guys can follow me of course, but we are just going to go near the Moreland Championship, and of course this is right across from Mrs. Holdsworth's house and the area that we were at before, but once you are at the championship, it should be pretty easy to find right at the farthest corner from Mrs. Holdsworth's house. Let's go ahead and collect this next butterfly at X201Y246. This next one is at this little rock formation up here or this little mountain. You just want to go up from Mrs. Holdsworth's house on your left and here it is at this little secret hideout spot and here's the next Catherine's Diary collection. We found a memory fragment at X198 and Y252. Of course, you guys can follow the little path that I took right from Mrs. Holdsworth's house and overlooking Moreland and Fort Pinta and the lighthouse in the distance right there. This next one one is more of Nilmer's Highland rather than Moreland, so go up here near M Nilmer's Highland and that little secret pirate location, and it should be easy to find if you know what I mean, and if not, just follow me because of course I'll give you the coordinates and everything you need to know as well as the directions, so let's go. So I'm just passing through the little ghost town area, ghost barn if you know what I mean, and it should be right down here. You guys see these brambles? Yep, you've seen it, but an easy way down is just to go past these bramble bushes. Oops, not easy, not easy. Oops, what am I saying? Ha ha ha. Okay, now just jump down from here. Yes, bestie, and here is it. And this is the pirate's hangout down there. There is a star in case you want it. But yes, this is more of a Nomer's Highland location for me at X158 and Y239. So yeah. 
For this next one, I'm going to trailer to the circus to show you guys better. But, um, yes, I'm going to take the Nomers Highland trailer because I'm a lazy, but you besties can do the same. Save you an extra buck there if you want. A buck of time, not a buck of your big shillings, if you know what I mean. But once we are out, just go straight, and it should be somewhere over here near these little area, and just go up here. And boom, it's right here near the circus at coordinates X157, Y223. Okay, so this one, you want to fall down right here. There's the circus and you just want to go down here. And there should be a little path that you can take and go up really, really far into the mountains. And here's the next Catherine's memory. And ooh, a star. But I'm going to go out and show you guys where it is for it to be a bit easier. It is at X145224. And, um, here is, oops, maybe this would be a good time to catch up with progress with finding Catherine's lost memories. Swing by my place next time you're in Yarlheim. And to find this one, it is just this path right next to the circus and right up there to help you besties out. And now we are going to go to Yarlheim to see what all these quests are about. Oh my gosh! Okay, I had a premonition that you found all of the fragments of one of Catherine's memories. Meet me at your big stables and we'll piece them together. Okay, let's go and do that then. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna see the first Catherine's memories unlockment. Okay, let's see. Now that you find them, explore the memory space to restore Catherine's memories. Time is fluid. Navigating the past can be filled with uncertainty as prophesizing the future. The soul sight power lets us navigate the sea of memories. You will be our compass. The fragments are found like pieces of a map and I'll be the captain, but enough with a metaphors engage. Gonna do a little boom boom zoom zoom. Very beautiful. Yes, magic. It's magic time. Magic time. Okay, what did that do though? Oh, interesting. We are now inside of Catherine's memory. Sometimes memories can be misleading or even dangerous, but this one seems pretty straightforward. Whatever you do, don't step on the butterflies or you could disturb the timeline and take us back to present day. Just kidding. Memory space doesn't work like that. We can't alter the timeline. Only try and understand it. Walk closer to the butterflies to bring the memory into focus. Oh, what? This is so weird. What are the memories? Oh, okay. Let's see. I think there's one. Okay, right over here. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, look at Herman. He's so young. And this is Elizabeth. This must be a memory of Catherine first learned about the role Jorvik Stables plays in helping the Soul Riders. Okay. Uh, I didn't see how you got that. Wait, my interface has disappeared. Not my interface. Okay, here's the next one. Is that yes? Catherine is meeting the Guardians. There's Starshine and there's Meteor. Somehow he looks hungry even as a memory. Better not get too close. And the next one's in the stables. There's Catherine Getty's ride a horse of her own. Your wig has been snatched. It's been fallen. Your wig. Are you okay? <laughs> Catherine, your wig is gone. <laughs> your wig literally fell. It fell off. I wonder if Catherine's horse is a star breed too. You did it. The memory is complete. Okay, now we're going back to present time. Even though the wig fell off in your memory, that's okay, Catherine. It's, it's okay. Let's go and talk with Linda. And we can get our next set of quests. It worked. And this was just one of Catherine's memories. There are many more to discover, and it's up to you to find them. Catherine's memory must have touched so many places in Yorvik to try to navigate them all at once would overwhelm your mind. You could lose sense of who you are, where you belong. This could be messy. It's a lot safer to search for just a few scattered memories at a time. We'll focus on the first section of Catherine's diary to start. As you explore Yorvik, look for the memory fragments the glowy butterflies remember when you found all of the fragments associated with an incident in Catherine's Catherine's past. I'll join you so we can use Soul Sight to piece the memory back together. Okay, sounds interesting. And let's go on to the next area then. And yeah, maybe this could be a good thing to catch up on some progress with finding Catherine's lost memories. Swing by my place next time you're in Yarlaheim. Okay, let's head on over to Yarlaheim then. Here we go. Okay, so for the Valesdale Village memories, I'm just going to go up to uh, Linda's house or apartment complex thingamajig in Yarlaheim, which is just up here, and there it should be. And we can enter the house and see the next part of the memory sequence and what it is, what the quest says, and stuff like that. So let's go. And here we are. 
Explore the me memory space using Linda's soul sight, then follow up with Linda when the memory is restored. This memory is bristling with echoes. Brace yourself, Margaret. I think we're going to see some familiar faces this time. And we're in Veildale. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Next thing. Where are these memories at? Okay, here is one. Is that- it is- it's Elizabeth as a young woman! <laughs> wigs snatched! Wigs! Why wow, the wigs? And that must be another soul rider. Something about that girl is very familiar. Those cheekbones, that nose. Ooh, here's the next one. Let's go and see what this one says. That looks like a young Evergrey before he went, THE TAPOS, NOT THE TAPOS, PLEASE! Enough time in Pandoria, in addition to sickening his body, seems to have lightened his mood. Back then, he looks very intense. Then that other druid must be Avalon. All the frickin' wigs! Whoa, wigs! Not the wigs. Okay, and this next one must be somewhere down near the soul circle, I'm guessing. And yes, it is. Okay, let's go and see what this one has to say. This one says, That must be Catherine be thinking about right now, seeing a magical being like Frit for the first time. I hope Frit was more welcoming to her than he was to you, but something tells me he wasn't. Frit has never been much for pleasantries. You did it. The memory is complete. We should head back now. Okay, we're heading back. Okay, now we're in Veildale randomly. As much as I want to learn about the lost last generation of Soul Riders, this doors to the memory are closed. We have what we need to restore the diary page. Let's head back to my room. This meeting is all too familiar. Druids, Frip, and a magical calling. Yup, been their soul sister. I've added the full diary page to your journal so you can read about memory in Catherine's own words. I wonder where the next memory collection will lead us. Okay, let's head back on out then and see where it will actually lead us. Maybe this would be a good time to catch up on progress with finding Catherine's lost memories. Swing by my place next time you're in Jarlheim. Okay, and now we're going to see the rest of the quests that have to do with horses and- Nope. <laughs> Catherine's memories. Ooh, what's that plush? I have a hunch Catherine would have a strong connection to South Hoof. Let's see what the last truth's recovered fragments reveal. Let's see it. Let's see it, bestie. Mystery moon, shine your light on me. Soul sight, power activate. Sorry, sometimes I pretend I'm a magical girl in an anime. I don't have to say a catchphrase to use my powers, but I can't hurt, right? Okay, undo your little magic magic. Zoom, zoom. Magic, magic, poom, poom. Okay, and Soul Sight has been activated. Let's find these memories. Here is our first contestant of a memory. It almost looks as if she's speaking with wild horses. Not the wig! It's all I can see! I wonder if the connection Justin has with his horses here is something he inherited from his mother. Ooh, Justin. Ooh, okay. And this next one I see right over here. So we are going to go to it. And I think the next one might be over there near the tree. Not sure though, but I think so. Look, Catherine Bearback. I suppose it's only natural that someone with a strong affinity to Aideen would be comfortable riding without a saddle. This does not look like riding, besties. I need a picture. What is that? That is um more like levitating Bearback. Okay. And our last memory. Hmm, where is it? Where can I find it? Okay, the last memory is right here near the tree. And the hermit from the beach, he was watching over these horses even back then. I wonder how well Catherine knew him. He and Thomas were old friends. You did it, the memory is complete. I should probably pull us back to the present just to be safe. What do you mean just to be safe? You wouldn't look me in the background right there. Okay, and yeah, we're going back to present time, besties. Present. My soul sight is fading. The memory must be complete. Let's head back to my room and review what we've just learned. Next one, a simple box. The next memory is at Moorland. This is where it all began. The first memory in Catherine's diary. More soul sight to go. Let's see. What do we have? Soul sight activated. Soul sight has been activated. Let's see what we have. Ooh, there's one, there's one. And is that... Thomas Moreland? No, it's literally just a floating wig. He looks the same age as Justin does now, and he looks just as awkward. This must be when Thomas and Catherine first met. It doesn't seem like Catherine is that interested in her future husband. Not every romance start with love at first sight, I suppose. And there's the third one right over there. Okay, let's see what this one holds for us. Catherine was close to her horses. You can tell Aideen's gift was strong with her. I wonder why old Jasper doesn't keep any horses at his farm anymore. It's rather strange, don't you think? Maybe horses remind him of oh that's not the last memory whoa where's the last memory where is it oh there it is it's right outside the house okay let's go to it 
The smoke bothers me. It messed me up. Okay. Looks like old Jasper is telling Catherine something. Do you think they lived here at the time? The land did once be belong to the Holbrooks, as you know all too well. Also, can I call him old Jasper in the past? He still looks like an old Jasper to me. I'm sticking with old Jasper. You did it. The memory is complete. I should probably pull us back into the present just to be safe and present. And then we can go over what we just learned from the memories and see what it tells us about Catherine and her mystery diary as a soul writer. Okay, we've completed both with a green quest. Catherine's memories, a simple box. We learned that Catherine grew up, grew up at a location known as Moreland Stables before Thomas showed up. I wonder if it's a coincidence you started your journey here too. You should keep looking for more of Catherine's lost memories as you explore your orbic. Remember, you can read any pages of Catherine's diary that we've restored by looking in your own journal. Catherine and Thomas both felt a strong connection to the wild horses of South Hoof. I'm sure Justin would be happy to hear that. I've added the relevant diary pages to your journal. We're coming closer to understanding. You're making excellent progress, Mar Margaret. Together we've restored one third of Catherine's diary. And look, an extra entry appeared without even having to find any memory fragments. You can find it in your journal and read. I need to recharge. Mystery and I aren't going anywhere. We'll see you again soon. We're only a third of the way done with restoring Catherine's diary. Are you ready to track down more memory fragments? I'll call upon the power of the moon circle. Oh my gosh, another four chapters worth of memories. I'm ready to find. Oh my goodness! No, not more! Okay, so those are all of the memories I'm going to be doing today. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more. Yay! Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Star Stable video and that it was helpful on finding the 40 locations for the butterflies. Thank you so, so much for watching and yeah, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really do appreciate it. Yeah.